welcome to this instructional aftercare video brought to you by Hoover. In this video, I'm going to talk to you about a few different jobs that are going to help you to maintain your condenser tumble dryer. Those jobs are your filter care, your condenser care, and also your water tank maintenance. So if we start with your filter care, the filter can be found in the recess of the door. So to gain access to it, you obviously need to open that door. Now we do recommend that you clean the filter out after every cycle just to make sure that you keep the tumble dryer running efficiently. So you're going to reach in, you're able to then lift that filter up and out. You want to unclip it and then taking a soft brush, you'll gently clean away all of the fluff and the dust that's gathered inside of the filter before clipping it back and placing it back to where you found it. Now we can move on to your Aquavision door mounted water tank. Now this Aquavision water tank makes it really easy to manage all of the water that will be collected from your wet laundry. So you want to start by taking hold of the handle and then you're going to remove the tank from the cradle. Now do take care when doing this because when it is filled with water, it will obviously be a lot heavier. You're then simply going to take it over to the sink where you're able to then empty it out before placing it back into the door, starting at the bottom and placing it in the groove and then clipping it all into place. Now the final job is your condenser care and this is really handy for if you do find that your tumble dryer has become clogged up. Now the condenser can be found down at the bottom of the tumble dryer so you want to start by removing the bottom to reveal your condenser. Now you want to slide the blue toggles to unlock can then pull your condenser all the way out. Now to wash this you're able to place it into a bucket or into a sink. You can even use a hose to flush it out and do make sure that you clean the whole of the condenser. We recommend that you flush it out on average about once a month and that's based on average use of the tumble dryer. You are able to refit it even if it is still a little wet and to do so you just want to place it back where it came from. Put those toggles back to lock the condenser in place and then replace in the bottom of the tumble dryer. Now remember, effective cleaning of the appliance is beneficial to the efficiency of the tumble dryer. So there you have a step-by-step -step guide of how to maintain your condenser tumble dryer, making sure that it's kept in tip-top condition.